Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. <sighs> Hopefully we are back to regular vlogging. Um, as you can see, we had a little bit of a delay change in vlogging. I'm supposed to be vlogging every single day, but we had some issues, not like issues with vlogging necessarily, more like issues with my emotions. I am feeling very much on edge, a lot going on in my brain. And so I just decided to not vlog. And also I was studying for my exam. So I always say that studying for my exam is a valid excuse to not vlog. So, but today it's 1.55 now. I finished taking my juvenile delinquency exam this morning and let me tell you, so far my experience with exams has been, I've taken two, and it's like I feel very confident while I'm taking the exam, right? And then either afterwards or like right towards the end, I'm like, am I really correct? I don't know. So basically this exam, there was three questions, three like, um, like essay questions. It was for two and a half hours and there was a we had a review session previously before the semester ended which was i guess like a week ago or so that we had the review session so in that review session he was like these are the cases that you need to know and he like named them off or whatever and he like went through an analysis of the things or whatever so i was having a very hard time focusing on my studying because i was like I feel like this is not on the exam and something was telling me to like only study what he said so basically last night i was just like forget this i'm only studying the things that he said i'm gonna rewatch the rewatch the review lecture and stuff like that so that's what i did i took notes and let me just say that i'm happy that i did that because literally there was three questions and in the three questions um was three of the cases so basically he told us to study five cases i think three of them were supreme court cases and the other two were not because juvenile delinquency is governed by family court so um and if you don't know family court is governed by state law so each state is different so the likelihood of him testing on like family court that's not supreme court is quite low because the analysis just would be different so anyways the exam happened and yeah so i was doing two of them and they seemed to be going really well and then the i did the first question and the third question everything was going great and then the second question i was just like this answer just seems so odd to me so i don't really know the point is that hopefully I did well. I feel like I did well, so I'm putting positive vibes into the air. And now we have just one more exam left, which is my wills exam, and that is not until December 22nd. So, today I have to, I took my exam already, I need to edit my YouTube video, which you will probably be seeing today because it's not that long, and I need to I'm supposed to be writing a cover letter for a job. I'll start doing that. I don't know if I'm going to finish it. Uh, plan for my wills studying and mail back my textbooks because my textbooks are due today. And if I don't um, drop them off at UPS, they're going to charge me. And I'm broke. So I can't afford to charge. So that's that. And hopefully vlogging will boost my mood. I feel like I was just chatting y'all's ear off, but that's okay. It's what you're here for, right? So listen to me.
is all done so we just have to export and there's that and while we do that we are trying to get the stupid ps5 which is causing me so much trouble so basically i was trying to talk about this in a vlog one time and i accidentally deleted the clip but my my mom has been well my parents have been trying to get my little brother the ps5 and let me tell you this stupid thing has been like the bane of my existence pretty sure that's the phrase and so it keeps like it, it really plays with your emotions so like walmart if you're watching this send me a ps5 and stop playing with my feelings because it's like it will let you get all the way there put in your credit card information let mind you my credit card information is already saved in there and then all of a sudden it'll be like oh sold out or like the website has too many people or whatever and it's really just making me upset you know it's upsetting me and my home girls why well, it's upsetting me and my mom <laughs> so we need to get together so it says it's gonna be here at 3 30 we shall see Sunsets on. Yeah. So tonight I'm cooking dinner. Um, as y'all should know, I love to cook, and so I shouldn't say I'm like a chef. I just like to cook things using recipes. <laughs> so tonight we're making fish tacos, and I'm using this recipe. They're like. Um, beer battered but I don't use any beer I just swap the beer for uh, sparkling water and last time I used lime sparkling water and you couldn't tell the difference at all but this time we have like regular unflavored sparkling water and then you just put the seasoning all of the seasonings that I'm using are gonna be the same it's just the beer so last time I made them they were delicious and so i'm hoping that tonight they're delicious too because i'm so excited to eat them i am so hungry and it's going to take me 40 minutes to make this and probably longer because i'm a little slow <laughs> basically this is the recipe you can just search up fish tacos on pinterest and you'll get a whole bunch of different ones but this is the one that i think i used last time so this is what we're gonna do I also realized that I wasn't vlogging when I opened, um, started opening my advent calendar. So this one was day 12. It's a Merlot. And this is day 11. It's Pinot Grigio. And so now we're going to open 10. Oh, I need to be a little more careful. Huh? This is Cabernet. Savignon. I probably said that completely wrong. I don't think you understand how excited I am to drink all of this wine because because I am like a drink cheap Moscato kind of girl and I would really love to branch out. So this is what I'm going to be doing on my Christmas break.
came over here because the vent is on. I'm kind of annoyed because I was frying my fish and I don't know what was going on, but the fish was sticking into the pot. And so, but only on some of them. And so some of them, like the breading is like off of it. And so, oh, it's just not the way I want it to be. But I salvaged some of the breading so I could put it in the taco so it will still be there. It's just annoying because I like my food to look 100% presentable. But these are the real life issues of an amateur super amateur chef but i will still show you what my tacos slipped out of my hand like these things only happen to me okay so it's now 10 30 p.m i took a shower and i'm in bed tonight was full of a series of unfortunate events um, I think I recorded and showed you guys, but I'll put it here. I dropped, basically I was making dinner. My brother, he is weird. He only eats his dinner a certain type of way. So I made him, I was going to make him mac and cheese like from the box and the macaroni was cooked and everything and the pot has like a lid and like it has one of those like sides where like you can pour the water out. So I'm holding the pot over the sink, pouring the water out, and I don't know what happened. My hand that was holding the lid slipped and all of the macaroni went into the sink. I don't know what's going on, but that was not okay. And I literally almost started crying and my mom was seriously laughing at me. She thinks that everything unfortunate that happens to me is just so funny because these are like things that only happen to me. So, yeah, I'm definitely, like, in a mood, and I'm trying to get myself out of that mood. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here, and we're gonna come back tomorrow, and I'm really, really, really gonna try to do, like, the contemporaneous vlogging, at least until Christmas. Now, I'm gonna have to figure something out, because I know that I'm not gonna have, like, that long of a vlog every single day, so we might have to combine a few but hopefully not too many and hopefully i'll still be like uploading at least every other day i don't know but thank you guys for watching thank you for accepting me with my bonnet i have a pretty small head honestly so everything looks huge on my head but this one fits i think so yes we're gonna go to sleep thank you guys for watching i will see you tomorrow and yeah, so...